Hello everyone, it's Dan here from Thomas Road of Support. In this video I'm going to take you through the process of installing and setting up Gaze for WordPress. So to begin with we've got a fresh WordPress installation here as you can see there's no content and we've got a default theme up and running and what we're going to do is go through the process of installing the theme, installing the plugins and getting the demo data all up and running. It should only take you a few minutes, uh, if you do have any problems of course do come see me over at support but if you follow along you should be up and running in no time. So to begin with we're going to head to the dashboard and within our dashboard area to upload the theme you can either use FTP or if you're doing it via the WordPress admin go to appearance and themes and at the top here you'll see a link where you can add new and, we'll go, and you choose upload theme. Now it's important the zip file you install is the correct one uh, so in your download package you'll notice there is the Gaze WP theme zip itself, that's the one you need. If you're trying to upload what you've downloaded from theme first and you're seeing an error such as missing style sheet, you're uploading the wrong thing. So do check this. Now I've actually already uploaded the theme to my setup, so I'm just going to go ahead and activate the theme here. And as you can see, as soon as that's done, the front end will change accordingly. and the back end you'll see this banner here asking you to install some more plugins. Now these are basically required to get the most out of the theme so things like the extra post types uh, they'll be uh, all set up for you as well as a few functional things such as meta boxes, contact forms, the demo data import so on and so forth. Now you don't need to install these one by one you can actually do it all in one go and to do this you can either click on the link here to begin installing plugins or under the appearance menu you can click install plugins here. It both leads to the same thing I'm just going to go ahead and click that link. Now rather than install them one by one we can actually tick this box here at the top of the column to check all of the plugins and from this drop down we can simply choose install and apply. What will happen the script that we have set up for you will actually go off and grab and install each of these plugins for you one by one depending on the speed of your server this can take a few moments so do be patient you will see a notification right at the bottom once it's all complete now it's not very interesting to watch so i'm going to go ahead and pause the video while this import takes place i'll be back in one moment okay a few minutes have gone by and as we can see each plugin has been installed and we've got a little message at the bottom here telling us everything's complete. Happy days. Now we're going to return to the dashboard. Just bear with me, my local server is a bit slow. Now what you can expect, um, as you can see here, we've got a little pop-up here for WooCommerce because we've installed the plugin. It'll just ask you to go ahead and set things up so uh, if you are creating a shop you can actually go ahead and uh, set up your currency so on and so forth uh, that's uh, something else entirely so for now you can either follow along uh, with this wizard and get things all set up I'm just going to go ahead and skip this and crack on to the next part so if we look at the front end and just refresh you'll notice there's been no change there but in the back end we've now got lots of different areas such as portfolio clients and so on all ready and raring to go what we're going to do next is get the demo data all uh, imported which is very very straightforward uh, to do that we go to appearance and import demo data and here we simply click the import demo data button now again depending on the speed of your server this will take a few moments it's going to go off and grab the demo data uh, set everything up for you import all of the pages etc get everything all set up in the options ready and raring to go I'm going, I'm going to pause the video just for a few moments it's not very interesting to watch but you will notice that you will get a uh, little message when it's all complete the only thing to bear in mind although you can go off and open a new tab to uh, browse other sites don't navigate this particular tab away uh, it will actually stop the import from taking place so leave this going in the background um, while it's doing its thing I'm going to pause the video now and we'll be back in a few moments. Okay, we're back. A few minutes have gone by and as we can see that loading message has now changed into a confirmation that it's all complete. We can head back to the dashboard and if we refresh the site you can now see we've got everything all up and running, the menu, everything ready to go 
you can now customize this all as you see fit. Now the only thing to bear in mind, uh, we can see this red banner here where you would expect the slider to be. Um, we'll go through this in another video, but this is entirely expected. Uh, what this is is an error telling you that the slider is missing. The reason for that is quite simple. The Revolution Slider plugin, which we include with the theme, has its own demo data package, which is quite heavy and obviously there's a lot of sliders, so uh, you need to import the sliders separately. We will go through this in another video, so do check that out. But what I'm trying to point out here is this is to be expected and is very much normal for this particular situation. So as you can see with all the other pages there's absolutely no other problems, everything's already in rearing apart from the sliders which we import separately as we'll go through. And that's it. If you have any problems then do come see me over support. Other than that, enjoy the theme and thanks for watching.